Good evening, my dear Chapertonians. That's a new name for you, Chapertonians. My dear friends and family from Chapterton, this is Sister Perline calling in again just for us to dialogue again and, and um, just talk about the love of the Lord and just talk a little bit about his word, something to think about and meditate on. First of all, I just want to wish you all a very, very happy, blessed and prosperous, also a healthy new year. You know, I think of Psalm 23 and we're in the um, year 2023. And I don't know why my focus is on Psalm 23, that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So let us think and meditate on that. Today, I feel led to talk with you about the fruit of of peace. You know, um, in the word of God, we know that there are nine fruits of the spirit, the fruits of love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, but at this time, I just feel like just um, let's talk about the fruit of peace. We need the peace of God right now. The world is in such turmoil and so much unrest. And we've just celebrated the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Prince of Peace. So um, let's focus on the Prince of Peace and um, just learn more about his peace and how we can enjoy the peace that he came to give us in this world. Um, Matthew 24, 3 to 9 tells us, um, let's just read about this, the signs of the times and the end of the age. Now, as he sat in the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him and privately, privately said, tell us when these things will be and what will be the sign of your coming and at the end of the age. And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceive you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and I will de and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquake in various places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. You know, we've seen a lot of this around us today, and it's only escalating. There have been rumors and rumors of wars. There have been pestilence. We look at the Ukraine war that has caused so much devastation. And even today, there's so many um, things going around, weather patterns, different change in weather patterns. Right here in the midst of winter, we're having below freezing degrees. And the next day, it's up to 50, 60 or 17, well, not 17 or areas, but 60 degrees. It's warm day. Today was a warm day. And then it goes on to freezing cold. So you have these changes in weather patterns. So the the world itself is in an unrest. It's not at peace. It's 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 actually groaning groaning it's travailing but the lord god has given us peace what is peace it's a state of rest and quietness and calmness it's absence of strife and the presence of tranquility both internally and externally which is grounded or surrounded with god's presence and through his promises and his power through the holy spirit one may have the peace of god without the, the one may have the peace of god without the presence of god this takes us to a personal relationship and confidence in God, that is knowing him. Peace with God describes the state of fellowship of the believer with God. Even when we have a confidence in him, the peace of God describes the condition of the believer. Because we're trusting and we're resting in him, we're completely surrendered to him to take care of every situation in our lives. Peace with God is dependent on faith and faith is, is helped by, persist, by a persistent prayer life, a complete state of well-being. This person carries God's peace wherever he or she goes. Isaiah 26 verse 3 tells us, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed in on thee, because he trusted in thee. Galatians 3.15 says, And let the peace of God rule in our hearts, to which also ye are called one body, and be thankful. And be thankful. You know, the peace of God gives us a sense of assured feeling of just a, a perfect calm and an, an undisturbed well-being, harmonious relationship between God and man. 
peace with each other, nations and, and within families. This is obtained when we receive salvation through Jesus Christ. Strife can be all around us, but it will not come near us, nor touch us because we have God's peace. Um, you know, we, we, we're not afraid at all of any situation or circumstance. Yes, sometimes fearful situations will come to us, but because of our faith and our confidence in God, you know, we just roll it over to him. Remember, he said we are to come unto him. We who are weak and heavenly laden. We are to cast our burdens on him. He said his yoke is easy and our burdens are light. So whenever we are faced with difficult situations, yes, the worry will come. The fear will come. But you know what? I encourage you as I encourage myself. I said, Lord, this is yours. Take it away. A, a troubled heart, a burdened soul is not my portion. You know, this is not what you created for me. So I will just roll my care over to you. The opposite of fear, the opposite of peace is fear, conflict, disorder, and anxiety. When we see this in our spirit, when we get that nudging in our spirit, man, that little burden, that little darkness within us you know that little ball of sorrow within us let's stop and just take a check take check and see what's going on what is this that's disturbing my peace amen so i, I just encourage everybody um especially this year just try to walk in the peace of god um as i said tr there's troubles all around their troubles all around. Romans 5, 1 tells us, therefore, having been justified by, justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus came that we may have peace within our souls. No matter how the troubles roar around us, no matter what the bad report may be, we can really, truly, confidently cast that onto the Lord and he will take it away from us. Um, Jesus gives us a peace that passes all human understanding in every situation. John 14, 27 tells us, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not the, not the peace that the world gives, not, sorry, I read it again. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus is the greatest example of total peace. We see Jesus on the stormy seas and the disciples were really, really worried and they were afraid. And what did he do? do? He rebuked the storm and there was peace all around him. It is good to for us to remind ourselves that no matter what the situation looks like, God is in control and we can, en we can endure only through him and the peace that he gives us. We can rest in that. Amen. So I encourage you with that today. Um, as the scripture I quoted earlier, you, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. I just like to read this um, from the Amplified Version. You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes confidently in you. We're confident, so confident that the Lord is ever so near. He loves us so much that he doesn't want us to be disturbed in any way. You know, sometimes, as I said, you may get a bad report. I, myself, I do, you know, one of the things I do, I honestly do worry about sometimes is the, that I want everything to go well with my children. I want everything to be fine with them. And if there's something bothering them, something out of line or out of order with them, I get a little bit disturbed about that. My, the, you know, the enemy tries to rob me of my peace. But I thank God that I remind myself and I pray. And I said, Lord, this is yours. Only this evening I was a little bit concerned because, and my spirit was a little bit troubled because my my grandson was hospitalized for a brief moment due to a, a hip problem and my daughter was very concerned she could not find his medication she could not there were many pharmacists who did not have his medication and I heard the concern in her heart and you know all I could do was just pray I said Lord please let your peace come, up, come upon her and please help her to find the right pharmacist that has the medication for her son and when I called her thank God for answered prayers I felt a peace upon her. I heard a peace upon her. And she said, yes, thank you. She said, I found enough medication for four days and they will get the rest for me. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. And that's all we need to do. Just trust the Lord and 
in any situation and he will bless us with his peace. Amen. Hallelujah. The peace of God causes us not to be fearful. God's peace causes us to even laugh at our enemies when we face troubles all around with oppositions in, in different ways. You know, as we trust the Lord, he will fight our battles and we can, in the end, laugh of, at our enemies. Amen. So I encourage you not to be anxious, not to be fearful. Um, in this world, there are just so many turmoils all around us. As I mentioned, the wars and rumors of wars. Um, so many people are facing unemployment. There, there's an increase in, in crimes. There are famines everywhere. People are hungry. You know, the world is, is groaning. The earth is groaning. As I mentioned also, the bizarre weather patterns it's all around. We can see it all around us, but we're to look up. The word of God says we're to look up because our redemption draweth nigh. We know that the Lord is on, on his way to take us home. So we just rest in that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Colossians 3.15 says, And let the peace of God rule in our hearts to which you are called in one body and be ye thankful. Be ye thankful for the, for the peace that he gives us. You know, when we walk in the peace of God, we have undisturbed rest, complete undisturbed rest. Even when we have troubles with people around, we just laugh and we pray and we confidently know that the Lord will answer us. That, and, and this occurs because of the relationship we have with him. We have a relationship with him and we know we can trust him. Matthew 5, 9 tells us, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Walk in peace at all times. Be at peace with all men. Romans 12, 18 tells us, If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. We don't have to be striving and fighting with everyone. Just be at peace. Even when you're wrongly accused, cast that accusation at the feet of the Lord. And he will fight our battles and peace will be our portion. Amen. And as we walk in peace, we honor God. We glorify him. We bring, glo we bring glory to his holy name. How can we call ourselves children of God when we walk in strife and turmoil? Right. But as we um, look the other side, as the word of God says, turn the other cheek, forgive bless do not curse and walk in peace god will fight our battles for us amen let's just um uh, pray and just turn to the lord right now and just pray for peace let's pray his word amen lord we thank you for your great peace which you gave to us because you love us hallelujah and the royal law is for us to love each other and nothing will cause us to stumble when we walk in peace. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us in perfect peace because our mind is steadfast and we trust in you. Lord, thank you for your peace. Though we have many troubles in this world, we know your peace because you have overcome the world. Lord, we thank you that your peace itself, for your peace itself, because, Lord, as we pray at all times and in every way, we walk in your peace. Lord, we pray that you will fill us with your joy and, and your peace as we trust in you. Lord, we pray that your peace will overflow, overflow within us through the mighty power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your peace, which surpasses all human understanding, which will guard our hearts and our mind through Christ Jesus. Thank you for being our peace. You, Lord, are our peace, and we are anchored in you. Lord, we thank you that we can lie down and be at peace, and we sleep. We sleep well. We will have undisturbed rest. Hallelujah. Because we dwell in your peace and your peace allows us to dwell in safety. Lord, we pray that you will help us to live at peace with everyone, according to your word in Romans twelve eighteen. Lord, thank you for the, your peace that rules in our heart and to which we are called in the body of Christ. Lord, we thank you that we have been justified by faith and because of faith, we can trust you and believe you for your peace. We bless you. We praise you. We worship you. We glorify you and we honor you. So my dear friends, I encourage you, walk in the peace of God. 
do not be disturbed in your spirit do not allow turmoil and unrest to rule our hearts i pray that for myself also that i will rest safely in the peace of god i will enjoy the the, the just joy and happiness around me as i look to the lord who fights every battles i encourage you today pursue peace pursue peace as much as you possibly can may the lord bless and keep you may his face continually shine upon you and may his peace rest upon you is my prayer for you all be blessed until next time this is sister perling bye bye for now